you must have come across some applications that had a menu at the top right. Sometimes you have actions such as settings or logouts or reset password, mostly around the top, but usually at the top right, you see some menu items. You click and you see a drop down. Sometimes the items might just be icons, standalone icons that you can click, such as a search icon, probably to search something on the app. In order to display those kind of UI elements, we need to use menus. So to use menus in your Android app, first, you need a layout for the menu. So we'll go to our resource folder, right click, new Android resource directory. We'll come here, resource type is a menu. We we'll click OK. We we'll come over to menu and we we'll say new menu resource file. I'll just call this home menu. So we don't need this, we can come over to text. So if you notice in the menu resource file, the opening tag is menu, closing tag is menu. And we add items by using the opening and closing item tag. Before we add our items, let us add some icons that we would use in our menu. I'll come to vector assets. I'll click here. I'll search for search. Yeah, I'm searching for search. And I'll click OK. The name is IC Search Black. Finish. You can see it was added here. I have two items. The first item is a search item. Second is help. We can add a third item. Logouts. Notice that they all have IDs. You have help and logouts in the drop down. But you have the search icon as a standalone. Why is that? Show as action specifies how this item should appear as an action item. So if room is saying if there is actual space for it to appear as an action, then it should appear as an action. You have show as action always, that means forever. If I remove the show as action, it just becomes another drop down. But if I want it to be an action that you can see without actually opening the drop down, you can leave it as show as action. Let's leave it as if room. We need to tell the main activity that we have a menu for it and which menu that is. So first to override, we'll click control O and I'll look for on create options menu and then i would inflate the menu by getting the menu inflator and inflating it with the whole menu that we created now if we run this program you can see we have our menu items but the thing now is when I click the items, Android doesn't know what to do. So we need to tell it what to do when an item is clicked. To do that, I would override on options item selected. On options item selected passes in an item. 
we get the item id and we use a switch case for it so in our menu we have an item with id search id help and id logout so whatever you want to do when search is clicked you put here whatever you want to do when help is clicked you put here and whatever you want to do when logout is clicked you put here For the default statement, we return the super on options item selected. So for now, for each item that is selected, I will either do searching, helping, or buy as a toast message. So if I click on the search, you can see searching, helping, and buy. So normally, in the search, there will be a code probably to search for what you're looking for. In the help, a code to probably open a web page for you to read the help documentation and log out the code to log the user out. First step, create your menu layouts. State the items. They will come to main activity. Inflate the menu using on create options menu. And then on options item selected, we tell Android what to do once the menu item is clicked. It's actually not complex. I hope you did enjoy this lesson. In coming lessons, you will learn about Recycler View and how to show a list of items using the wonderful Android Recycler View.